first step is to connect our driver to the machine and the rotary. We will need the driver, the driver cable to the machine, the driver power energy cable, and finally the rotary ring engraving device. Connect the power cable, the rotary cable, and the machine driver cable to the controller. Once everything is connected, connect the driver to the machine through the port number 4. Then, connect the power cable to the wall connector and turn on the driver. In the software, draw a rectangle able to fit in the ring. For this example, I'm going to draw a 2mm wide by 22 mm long. Then I open the hatch tool and I'm going to fill the draw and centralize it. The next step is to adjust the ring with the material sensor. We place the ring under the red sensor light and then we wait until the sensor alarm sound. When the alarm sound means that we are ready to start to engrave. Press F1 to be able to see in general what is the engraving area will be. Now go to laser options and then click in rotary mark. Press F3 to access the motor parameters. The first thing we will do is make sure that our engraving parameters are on Y axis. Remember that Y position is this and X position is this. To operate with our rotary, we will always use Y axis. For this work, my configuration motor parameters are exactly as you can see in the screen. Active rotary axis and fill the diameter size of the object, which for this ring is 21 millimeters. Leave the rest as it is, just like you are seeing in the screen. Now I'm going to fix the ring position under the lens. And then I'll go back to the software and press F1 to see the engraving area. Make sure that it is right in the center. Once centered, press F2 to start engraving. The result has some small lines between each engraving frame. Although these lines are impossible to eliminate, we can attenuate them until they are almost invisible. Still, these lines are difficult to eliminate because we are engraving a vector with a stepper motor. If you don't want any kind of line on your engraving, then you need to engrave with a servo motor and not with a stepper motor. For more information about this, visit our page web www.barchlaser.com slash blogs and there you will find more information, blogs and videos about the laser world. Continuing with the parameters, I will change the number 13 to 13.5. I will use a remover marker to reuse the ring. I'll press F2 again. And again, I will change the parameters. And I'll continue changing some parameters little by little and doing tests till I see which is the clearest engraving parameter or the one that have the smallest space between lines and lines. After several minutes, I found the parameter 
closest to the result we are looking. And I am ready to start to engrave my vector. I'll import a vector file I will centralize it with my center tool and using the case control plus arrow I will change the angle to 90 degrees. For this material I will use 1500 speed and 285 hertz. I'll go back to rotary mark I'll go back to rotary mark and press F1 to see my engraving area. And finally I press F2 to start my engraving. For more video tutorials like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We upload content like this every week. Like and share our video and also visit our page web www.barshlaser.com there you will find a lot more information about laser machines. My name is Eddie and see you in the next video.